Welcome to Cryptonomics. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the daily updates from the crypto space and press the bell icon to never miss a video update. Here are the top 5 crypto news for the day. Let's dive into the news headlines one by one and see how they'll be affecting the crypto space as we know it in the coming days. China's central bank suspends a software firm due to alleged crypto trading. The Chinese central bank's Beijing branch has issued a suspension order for Beijing Tao Cultural Development Company Limited, a local software firm. The business was reportedly involved in Bitcoin trading, according to a Reuters investigation. Hedge fund firm Marshall Weiss intends to enter the crypto market. According to the Financial Times, Marshall Weiss, a UK hedge fund business with over $55 billion in assets under management, intends to enter the cryptocurrency market. Marshall Weiss also took part in a $440 million financing round for Circle, the US-based business behind USD Coin, in May. Michael Saylor says Bitcoin volatility will always hurt some traders. MicroStrategy CEO Michael Saylor opines that Bitcoin's volatility will always disappoint investors who lack a broader view of its technology and base their decisions on pure speculation. Saylor, a long-standing Bitcoin proponent, discussed the threats and prospects for the global crypto economy during an interview with Sven Henrik from the Northman Trader. India's finance minister says cryptocurrency bill is ready for the cabinet. In an interview with Business Line released last week, India's finance minister Nirmala Sitaraman said the country's cryptocurrency bill is ready for the cabinet. The Indian parliament has already approved legislation to establish an official digital currency. The measure aims to make all private cryptocurrencies illegal in the country. RNC systems attacked by Russian government hackers. Russian government hackers attacked Republican National Committee's RNC computer systems last week. The hack coincided with a massive ransomware attack organized by a Russia-linked group, according to two sources familiar with the issue. Follow Cryptonomics for more such updates.